Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. It's we ain't done one of these in a while, bro. It's been a minute. And it's a big one getting started straight into it today. We are comparing the LeBron 17 versus the LeBron 18. Let's get it. LeBron James. LeBron James. Bro, it's an honor to be in the studio today. I like. To compare his last two signature shoes. He's on 18 shoes and that alone is an accolade. It's a Hall of Fame stat it's, by it's, itself. It's a madness, bro. I like. The 17 did a madness. If you've seen the 18, you also know that the 18 did a madness. Lots of madness. We want to see which of these two madnesses comes out on top. So without further ado, Let's get straight into it. But before we do, you know the vibe. Make sure you like this video, show support to your boys. Smash up that like button. I need 100 likes. I need 100. Straight I need up. 100 likes on this video. That helps us out massively. We've got content coming out now. We're back to it. So we need to get these videos out and about on that YouTube algorithm. So smash up that like button right now. Give you a second to do it. And when you're done with that, head over to Instagram to follow your boys at This Is Pure Kicks. Hit that follow button because you don't want to miss a trick when it comes to everything that is us. You get me? Let's start the comparison. Okay, firstly, arguably the most important category. Arguably. Which shoe looks better? Come on. Yeah, aesthetically. To the eye of the beholder, beauty. <laughs> Bro, I think that has to go to the... 17. I was going to back you on the 17. Yeah, yeah, There's just yeah. something about the shape. Some of the colorways were me. I'm not going to lie. This may be top colorway in the 18 though. No. Right. This colorway of the 18 is different, but some of the colorways in the 17 just slap differently on this shape and shoot. The 17 is definitely the one that comes out on top here. You know it is for me, Timmy? Talk to them. If you put both these shoes side by side each other, and this is a point I'm going to bring up a few times in this video, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you told me which one of these shoes is LeBron's shoe? Okay. I would point to the 17 without a second thought, bro. Swear. Without a second thought. It's a more LeBron-esque, you're oh, saying? Oh, more LeBron-esque. If anything, if someone told me this is the LeBron 17 low, I might believe them. Okay, well, they have to say that, though. They have to say it's they the LeBron to... 17 yeah, low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. It's tough. It's tough. 17 gets the point. Next up, moving on into the traction. This point. It's going to the 18. Thank you very much. The 18 has two different patterns. Yeah. Both the diamond wavy pattern in the forefoot and yep. the heels and mountains in the heel. Thank you. It's it's a, it's a madness over there. Yeah. That's versatility for real. The coverage is nice. It holds up pretty well indoor and outdoor. These do too. Just not as well as that. Yeah. Moving on to the cushioning, which is actually a madness in both these shoes. Mm -hmm. In the 18, we have the full length zoom air unit. It's tough. Plus Air Max in the heel. It's tough. And all of that is housed inside a Cushton carrier. Okay? Timmy, could you read up what you've got over there? Because I forgot what you have over there. We do have the Zoom right. and we do have the Air Max. Only the Zoom is different because we have uh, Max Zoom pods. Right. Just two of them in the forefoot. Okay. The balls of your feet, some would say. No, that's cute, that's cute. We do have the Air Max unit in the heel. Nice. We've got that. It's pretty similar. I don't really want to talk about carrier too much. So we'll just kind of move on from that, if that's cool with you. That's yeah, cool. As long as the prep goes to the 18s, we're all blessed. Yeah. Safe. 100% is going to the 18 because over there is a mad thing. There's no need to do all of that. The full length zoom is cheeky. It's mad, bro. Because I'm not going to lie to you, 17 stuff weren't broken. So for them to upgrade like that, it has to, has to get the point. Oh, it has to get the point. Next up, talking about the motorals in the 17. Yes, it is nit posit for the first time. Yeah. Oh, gee, I know what you're going to say over there. This is nit posit, yeah? Yes. All right, this ain't nit posit, bro. Okay, what, what is it? If it this posit? is nit posit 2.0, so my guy. This is the same words, like it's this not the same This is nit posit 2.0, my guy. Completely different words, bro. Okay, sure. Different, it's different world and different words, yeah? Let's make that nit very posit clear. For the first time ever seen in the Nike basketball shoe, in any basketball shoe for that matter. OG, triple OG, quit playing with me. Yeah? It's cute. Everything you need when it comes to an upper, it's light, it's breathable, it's structured. And it's real cute. The knitting is fantastic. The way it's knitted is, is doing the trick right, right there for right, sure. Right. Yeah, it is cute. So what have you got to say? What I've got to say is that I've got the second rendition of whatever you got over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
The knitting bangs over there. It does. But it bangs even more severe over in this side, bro. But does it? The breathability is nice over there, bro. I know it is. But it's even more <laughs> breathable <laughs> over in this side, bro. It's not, bro. Yeah? What? It's nice, bro. And on top of that, obviously, we have this TPU hill counter, so we have to you mention do. that. Do you have uh, air units in your, in your tongue to provide the extra? You don't, Timmy. Okay? So I think it's safe to say the point goes to the LeBron 18s. Hold that. I ain't going to front. I can't even front. Hey, yo, real quick. If you're messing with our content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We want 100 likes, so smash that like that button. Is. Subscription, please. Yep. Make sure you're subscribed. Yep. Hit the bell. Yep. Stay notified Billy, every Billy. time video drops. Follow us on all our socials at This Is Pure Cakes across all of our socials, especially, especially Instagram. Come on. Swiftly moving on into the weight of both of these shoes, I'm going to go with the 18 first. 606 grams. It's mad. 606 grams. That is above 600 grams. It's only 6 grams. 600 grams! Only 6 grams above 600 grams. Oh my god. It's not, it's not that much. So if you get to 600, you're not done. You have to keep going. My god. Uh, how much do you weigh then? 600 grams. Cool. 600, you got it, yeah? yeah 606. Bro. Yeah. 17 coming in at 597. Let me hold that. Shut up, man. Let me hold the point. 597 is basically 600. 597 bro. grams. You're only Put three grams. 17. Did we even weigh it correctly? 597, which means when you say the number, you have to start it with a five. That one starts with a six. This is just facts. The point goes to the 17. Now talking about the fit, I think we both agree the point has to go to the 17s. Indeed. Not because the 17s do anything special, I think mm -hmm. it's because mm -hmm. the 18s, they lack it a little bit when a it little comes bit. to fit. Just a little bit. Yeah. The shoe fits more on the regular slash wide, uh, you know, the category, that Close side. To wide. Close to Closer wide. to wide. Timmy and his narrow feet were struggling. Yeah, bring it up in this It was tough for Timmy, bro. It, apparently, the lateral support, and we'll get to edge support, you know, what wasn't on point. <laughs> And unfortunately, that's because of Timmy's foot structure. So if you're narrow-footed, you would have experienced the same thing Timmy did, yeah? And that, all of those reasons are the reasons why Timmy also agrees are the reasons why the point goes. Can I just have 17. my point and go? Can we no, just have no. a point and move on? No, what's the next category? Next up, moving on to the support. The point's definitely going to LeBron 17. We mentioned in the fit that it's nothing special that 17 is doing, that it got the point. It's just some of the things that the 18 lacked. Yeah. In this one, very, very different. There's a bunch of things the 17 is doing, which makes it very special. First off is the lateral support. I feel definitely locked down and in the shoe when I'm in these. Defensive slides, get into spots. I didn't feel like I was rolling ever, so mm -hmm. I like that. The higher top does help. Right. Gives it a bit of an edge. It's not too much higher, but it is higher. And I do feel like my ankle is kind of more locked in. And overall, the structure of the shoe, that Nip Posset, OG Nip Posset, is a bit more structured overall. Still very soft, just not as stretchy, which is exactly where I need it to be. So the support has to go to the 17 on this. Thank you. Which shoe is better for the great outdoors? I think it's the LeBron 17 team. Do you agree? Okay, that's fantastic stuff. We don't usually agree on these things, do This we? one we have to, though. Yeah, we do. I think the reason is mainly the traction pattern, okay? The outsole um, on the 18 is great. Um, however, on the hill part where we have the hills, the mountains and hills and the, and the ridges, even indoors, they wear away quite quickly. Quite quickly. So outdoors, you're in trouble. In trouble. Do you get what I'm saying? I hear it. So even though the cushion setup is quite similar in both these shoes, and you know, the materials are quite similar. True. That traction and even the support on the 17 just gives it that extra edge for outdoors. It deserves so it. It definitely gets that point for me. It deserves it. It deserves it. Last and most certainly not least, let's talk about price. Now, Flo, mm -hmm. this is all you. You've right. been doing this, right? Talk to me. Problem is, they're both 165. I'm talking inline. Retail price. Don't talk about sales right now. They're both 165 off the shelf. Right. How would you decide who gets the point if they're both the same price? See, usually the question I'd ask myself is which shoe is better value for my money? Yep. But today the question I'm asking myself is which shoe will give me the better LeBron James experience? Ooh. 
I think would be the 17. Even though I feel like you are getting more for your money in the 18. A lot more on it, yep. I mean, the cushioning system is a bit, it's upgraded, it's, it's upgraded, yep. The air tongue. I just feel like looking at this shoe, it looks more like, like a LeBron James shoe than the 18. And I just feel like overall you'd get more of a LeBron James experience in those than mm. these. I don't know if I'm chatting rubbish here, guys. I don't know if you guys feel the same. Comment down below if you guys agree or disagree. Indeed. Uh, if I'm just you know chatting BS, if these look better, I don't know, innit? But I'm looking at these shoes, I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna go with you there right here. Is. There it is. And outdoors is, come on, man. Yeah, 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 it makes sense. Yeah, One makes six sense. five. Sense. They better hold up outdoors. It makes sense. So I'm going with the, with the 17s. So there you have it. Looking at all the scores, the LeBron 17 is still reigning champ at 6-3. Now, the question is, is the LeBron 18 an upgrade or a downgrade? The score kind of says it's a downgrade, but on paper, it's fully not. No, it's more like a step grade. Step grade. Yeah, it's not like a downgrade, but it's more like a step to the side where they haven't really improved on it that much, mm -hmm. but they've tried to improve on it and it just didn't work out. Uh, that's a good way. It's a big side step, it's though. It's a big side step. It's yeah. it's a little angled yeah. towards down. It's still side, yeah, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, it's, it's like yeah. that, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not their fault, it's not their fault. It's not fault. their fault because they did fault. put in work because they tried to touch every piece of the 17 and upgrade every piece. The tongue, the, the, the nip posset, the cushioning, the traction. They did really give it a shot, but they may have overdone it. However, both shoes are still available on Pro Direct. Yes, the 17 is still sitting on net in, with a nice young price tag on it right now. So it's up to you. You have all the information you need now. If you need LeBron, these are your picks. Before we sign now, big shout out once again to Product Basketball. Both of these are available on their website. Yeah. They're on sale. Mm -hmm. They just came out on top. Let me not even talk too much. Let me talk too much. Just make a decision. But yeah, they're on there, innit? Link in the description box below. So before you go, you know what you have to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video to help your boys out. We said it at the top, we said it in the middle. We need 100 likes. That is, that's your role. This is what we need from you, is to smash up that like button. We need 100 likes in this video. Get us around, let YouTube know that this video bangs. Hit that like button. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the comparison. Was our comparison correct? Did the 17 come out on top for you or was it more of an 18 thing? And of course, hit that beautiful subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video because you're not going to want to miss them. You're not going to want to miss them. Subscribe to the team. So, right, guys, that's everything from us. This is the LeBron 17. This is the LeBron 18. We're pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it. Let's get it. New sound. <laughs> <laughs>